I guess it's finally time to unbox this. I've been putting it off for maybe a day and a half only because I don't really like getting into new technology. It's a whole thing, but I finally upgraded my phone to an iPhone 13 Pro. So this is my current phone. It's very old. It's also very cracked. Um, this is the iPhone 6S plus which is a big size i've always wanted this um big size because i tend to view things a lot visually but you know as with the times the camera of this is just it doesn't even have portrait mode which i think is a big factor because i like capturing things on the go so i finally decided to get this i have been super stingy for the past year and a half because I've been wanting to get the 12 but I was looking at the prices and you know the 13 came out and I was like might as well get the 13 since we're here so it also is now in a very small box which I appreciate I think my iPhone before had a bigger box but it's probably something I already forgot I expected this to look even golder, but I think it's the side that's really gold and fancy and has a lot of um, finger marks now. I'm pretty impressed with the update because generally it feels like a duplicate of my current phone. It's probably taking just a while to load on the new phone, but you know, generally it looks the same. I do want to do a quick refresh on some of the things eventually, but so far it's doing good i think my only observation is in person the colors are kind of different but that could be the oc color person in me and i don't know why this glitches more than this but i haven't added my sim in so that's something i have to work on So last night we were having like a random stationary, I guess, update chat like me and Chingai and it came to the topic of notebooks and so she sent me her spare Rhodia notebook which I've never tried because I don't know, I've never tried Rhodia and you know, it's also fountain pen friendly and it's in this nice like yellowish orange color which is totally right up my alley so um, Chingai sent her spare copy to me. Thanks, Chingai. And I'm gonna be making her inks in a moment, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. These are some of my favorite inks ever. So this is the Pilot Yuyake. It's a nice orange color from Pilot. And then this one I got secondhand from Uni. This is the Pilot Fuyugaki. It's actually translated to Persimmon. It's also very dirty, but these are some of my favorite um, reds and oranges. And this Diamine autumn oak it's great for the autumn season i randomly found these stock stickers in my stationery stash and i realized that they are great for writing the inks on the vial so i'm going to be doing that
this is one of my favorite like indulgent treats i would say can't tell you how many boxes of this i've already kept but this brand called Ky kyler anyway it's owned by nestle and i've went to i went to the factory in switzerland a couple of years ago and ever since i've loved this brand particularly and so i was at the deli the other day and i found it there so i had to get one so good so this is the current morning pages that i'm using but what i'm planning to do is at least for the rest of the year i think we still have like two or three full moon and new moon readings and i realized that maybe the last few parts of this journal will be saved for that because at this point i kind of really want to start something new because as you can see I have swatched so much ink. I mean, you know, it's a lot. So, might as well move out. I don't know if it's an art thing. I just like it when colors are coordinated. Actually, my journals now all have the same colorway in some way. So, this is my diarist. And then, this is... My Paper Society planner. Very warm autumn vibes. And actually, this is my book notebook, which I don't really show much. But this is where all the research comes in. So, you know, what a nice um, autumn-themed stack. Maybe I should take a photo of the spines um, one of these days. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to see how this is. It reminds me of my very old... Loisterm bullet journal and I really love that. I think I used that diligently in 2018. It's actually also not heavy. So it's Rhodia A5 192 pages and it is 96 sheets. So here are the pages. They're cream, and I don't know if it's like a very detailed thing, but I like that the lines are not sagad. What is sagad in English? There's like a nice space here, so in some way it reminds me of school with the margins and all. Thank you. 